for. Would they all be high fiving this morning how responsible Kevin McCarthy is and this is the responsible way and this is knowing how things work, sir? No, of course not. This is cartel government. This is this is the morning Joe coalition. Three hundred votes is the cartel and larger when you factor in the Democrats that wanted to be look good on their scorecards. But this is a, a huge route uh, against the Republican uh, uh, establishment in terms of what they got, uh, in terms of trying to negotiate a deal anywhere similar to the House passed di- bill. Uh, this thing has no cuts. It is a freeze, and it is a freeze with no cap on the debt limit for two years and uh, upwards of at least $4 trillion of, in terms of what that equals to. And so this is an e- enormous fail for Kevin McCarthy. The Democrats passed this. And the, th- the 20 turned into 30. So in terms of the, the coalition that is against him, that is uh, th- that he, he discarded his coalition of House conservatives in, in exchange for Hakeem Jeffries. We should start calling him Majority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. He, he has discarded the House conservatives. And now he's going to have a, a significant problem on a bill-by-bill basis. Because why on earth would you vote for procedural rules for this cartel? Kevin McCarthy and Hakeem Jeffries, do you want to govern? Fine. You pass your rules. And now they have 30 Republicans that said, I want to be part of the 20. They have 10 new ones. I want to be part of the 20. And the ranks are growing. And this is going to be a very, very difficult uh, two years for Kevin McCarthy because he has no ability now to govern with any sort of unanimity because of what he did in discarding coalition government at the negotiating table with Biden because he believed a lie that default was going to occur. Yes, he got sucked into this. There's no default. It's not going to be a default on Monday. Wall Street, you know this. You see the bond market. We talked about the stock market. Uh, Anybody, also the shiny toys, the J6 and all this stuff, it's all irrelevant. These are all, this is trying to treat you as idiots and fools to go jump on a shiny toy. Okay, you're not going to jump on shiny toys. So the, the 30, what, what, what Russ is talking about, on the floor for the rules vote, give you some inside baseball, another 10 joined the 20 coalition. That's what he means by 30. The difference between that and 73, because Banks and Boebert uh, got there late but registered no votes, of the 73, that, that difference in the 43 additional, people saying, well, they went and got permission from Kevin McCarthy. No, they understood. They didn't need permission from Kevin McCarthy. They understood in those districts If they had voted for the uncapped two-year deal to take basically the power away uh, from the war room audience, because that's what this is about, uh, to take that second year, they would have been turfed out in a primary. Okay, They'd have been turfed out in a primary. And that's what you're going to see in these red districts, that these guys are going to get turfed out. There is absolutely no justification, zero. There is no argument to be made. Not, oh, we're going to get an appropriations. This is, you know, the IRS. It's, there's nothing. There's nothing in the tissue of lies of this deal. Nothing that makes up for the one central thing. You voted to give the Biden regime, not just keep all the programs in place. Let's even leave that aside. You voted to give them unli- uncapped, unlimited deficits that have to be paid for by the American people, right? More printing of money because the wealthy are not going to pay the taxes to do it. They have to do it, and because of the economy dropping, tax revenues dropping, it could go five, six trillion dollars, whatever it is. It could be seven trillion. It's on. You've basically given them a blank check. That is the center beating heart of this, Russ. Vote, uh, Russ. But you see, in in that seven, in the thirty to the seventy three, you see the beginning of the anti cartel party. Is that not correct, sir? Absolutely. The the power. It, in the, the grassroots is infused into the 20 and to now the 30, and that is growing. There are more members that are part of that 70 that have just never defied leadership on a speaker vote or a, a procedural vote, and they treat procedural votes like speaker votes in the House, and which is why it, there was some drama there yesterday. And so it's a big deal when Eric Burleson from Missouri joins, goes to the combine, and goes against leadership. It's a big deal when Barry Moore does it. It is a big deal when Tim Burchett does it. And it is a big deal when Tom Tiffany does it. Diana Harshberger, these are new members that just went through the combine against leadership and defied them and grew the ranks of the 20. And now they're gonna be ready for the next fight. And, and there are gonna be more members of that 70 that say, you know what, I wanna be part of the 30. 
And I'm going to defy leadership on the next one. So, you know, leadership's out beating their chest this morning. They say, bring it. Uh, okay, I, let's see how that plays out. But my, my suggestion would be to that they, they need to, he needs to think critically about the coalition government that he ripped up and about how to get back to that as soon as possible and what's oh, necessary no. to be able to, okay. to do that. And I, and I think your point, <laughs> Steve, is that he can't do that because he's ruined the trust with the American can't do people. That. Can't do it. It's it's it, the the second year you gave him the uncapped nature of it is a mortal. It's an unforgivable sin. It's mortal. You can't because it's going to have such. A, in fact, we're going to work with Russ and the great team over at the center and put together some projections and and and, and, and treat you like the CEOs you are. We're going to come back and talk about projections. What 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 um what does January of 2025 look like? What is it really going to look like? Okay, what is it going to look like for Donald Trump when he comes back to the presidency or any Republican that will win? And remember, they took the weapon out of the hands at the, for the national debate because they saw the CNN numbers. They saw the polling coming in. The more the American people, the more people that are not aligned with you right now, the more that they understand the scam and the con that this is and how it's bearing working class and middle class people, more people come with saying, hey, we need significant cuts before there's any more borrowing. That's very simple. It needs significant cuts. They, they, that is what the cartel fears. The cartel lives off this business model. I think for McCarthy, and by the way, do you, do you vacate the chair, motion to vacate today? You do the motion to vacate when you can get the knife in deepest, okay? That's not right now. There'll, there'll be other procedures. I want to make sure people understand the inside baseball. Why is these rules votes like speaker votes? Give us why the procedure votes are so important, and you'll see more and more of these as we go forward, sir. It gets to why we've cared so much about the Rules Committee. John Dingle, the longest serving House member in history, says, if I give you the ability to set policy and I get to set procedure, I'll screw you every time he didn't say screw. And so the procedural votes that the Rules Committee comes up with, and then they send them to the floor, that they vote on a rule before they vote on every piece of major bill. And that's why the Rules Committee is so important. But the, the leadership says that those are leadership votes, those are party, those are about whether you're Republican or Democrat. Yeah. Totally false. But that's what they do. That's the, that's the line that they have used. That has, ne- that has been shattered uh, as a result of yesterday. And they're going to they're going to continue to try to legislate and they're going to come up with shiny yeah. objects like you just mentioned. Yeah. They're going to put the Reins Bill Act, which is not oh, in yeah. this bill. And they're going to say, okay, let's let's give them that vote. Well, are, are, should, should Republicans who are part of that 30 give them the vote? I would argue not. That's how they should be thinking about it and 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 and, and thinking through. Okay, you don't want our votes in, in coalition government? Fine, go get them from Majority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. They they by the way, it is, there, there there is a coalition government now, and I would actually argue that the Democrats actually Hakeem Jeffries running the deal. They, they, he surrendered totally. Surrender is easy. Russ Vogt, how do people get to the center? How do they get to you on social media over the next couple of days as we get into the center? At, at Russ Vote on all the social media channels, and they can get us at AmericaRenewing.com. We just put up a summary of the entirety of this uh, terrible deal. Folks should get those and, and use that to, to go back against the lies of folks yeah. that are out there saying that this is a good bill. 